What have I learned from Kingdom Hearts? What did I learn from Kingdom Hearts? I played Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 2. It was one of my first ever RPGs. Played it a long time ago. I learned that no matter what in life, you can react to anything. I mean, look at this guy. He doesn't know shit about what's going up against him. He's going to these new worlds, new places, meeting new people, these monsters jumping at him. Referring to this certain battle that happens in the game. A battle between you and this fucking nobody named Dimix with his fucking sitar and shooting fucking water over everyone and everything. Yeah, see, Sora, he's got what we call confidence. And confidence is all you need in life. He was the bane of my ever-loving gaming existence. I did not know how to beat him. He was so hard. I, I just didn't know what to do. I, I was so frustrated. I, I wanted to reach in the screen and rip his face off. And you got this little triangle button you can press, and he's like, whoa! His little dance water dance face hated it so much. Look at me shit on you now! But I did walk away learning something from the whole experience. All you need is confidence. Not all games are fun in games. Oh no. Confidence, you go out, new enemy comes up, spin around, kill you. I didn't feel like I was having fun. Maybe at first I did, but eventually, I just wanted to kill something. Another enemy comes up, reflect your sniper rifle back at you. I wanted to kill shit. I just wanted to kill shit. You can do anything, and you can react to anything in life. But that one instance, that one memory I have of fighting Dimix on Kingdom Hearts 2 has forever damaged me in my gaming career. But, like I said, I did learn that not all games are easy. I learned that your heart can take you anywhere. Hearts are worthless, but I mean, that's, that's kind of what the whole gist of the game is, right? As long as you have good friends, you can do anything. They accomplish everything they wanted just based off their hearts. Just like, you know, they're expendable. We can just kill as many heartless we want to go on these big team hearts. The whole plot of the game was focused around collecting the hearts of these people for power. And it's true, power is within your heart. Your heart is the strongest thing that you have in that game. Clearly that's the whole message of the game, that hearts are worthless. I mean, and that's what they taught you, that as long as you follow your heart, you will always end up where you want to go. No, but that's, uh, that's, they're going off of the heart. Well, another good thing was uh, friendship. Friendship really helped them out a lot, too. You can always rely on your friend. You know, there was in, it was impossible to do alone, Sora and his three friends. Sora's going out, he's making new friends everywhere. They made friends along the way. And he's always got the two that's with them. It helped with their struggles. Everywhere they went, they were making friends. Sure, there's a mechanic in the game where you can only have two of your friends out at a time, but just think about it. There was never a place in the, there was never a world that they went to where they did not make a friend. You got your new friend and your two friends always run around through space, and they always got his back. And you can always have your friends have your back too, and you can have their back. Hey, I hope you liked our new series, What I Learned in Blank. We decided to start with Kingdom Hearts, and yeah, this one, it's a work in progress, but we hope you enjoyed it, and you hope you'll uh, enjoy the future ones and the other types of videos we're putting out. It's the metal, and uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with all your friends. We'll see you next time. Oh, and, you know, fuck Sephiroth. Yeah. Yeah, fuck Sephiroth.